Hi there, welcome back. Alex Hormozzi is a successful entrepreneur and marketing expert who's known for his captivating captions that make his content stand out on social media platforms. His captions are not only engaging and informative, but they are also visually appealing and easy to read. And today I'm going to show you how to create captions just like his in DaVinci Resolve quickly and easily. Whether you're creating content for your business, personal brand, or just for fun, Alex Hormoza style captions can help you increase engagement and attract more viewers. So let's dive in. When I first looked into the options in DaVinci Resolve for this caption style, I chose the basic text tool. It's lightweight, easy to use, and supports styling for selected characters or words in the text, like in a rich text editor. For example, we can simply select a word and change the style, like font, color, and size, etc. But as soon as I tried to do some real work, I found there are some limitations and missing functions. The first limitation is that we cannot move or rotate a text selection. Let's say I want to rotate or reposition the word captions, but there is no option for that. The next thing is that there is no easy way to remove the substyles applied to a text selection. If we want to change the style back to the default, the only way is to manually change the settings one by one. Another issue is that we cannot reuse the styles defined in one text clip and apply to the other caption text. For example, we have made the first caption like this, the first line in color white and second line in yellow. Now we want to use the same style for the next caption. So we copy the clip and enter the new text. But the styles are changed back to default. I have to select the text and reset the styles manually. Even though we can enter each line separately and keep the previous style, that would be very tedious and time consuming. So I spent some time and created an active caption template in DaVinci Resolve to help make Alex Hormoza style captions. Looking at the inspector, it's similar to a text tool where we can enter the text and change the styles. In addition to the text style settings, there are 10 buttons to allow us to set up to 10 different text styles for the words or lines we entered in the text field. If we copy the caption clip, these style settings will be kept and automatically applied to the new captions entered in the text input field. There are two levels to apply these settings, either by words or by lines. The default text is three words on three lines, so there is no difference when switching the levels. When the text or style level is changed, Make sure to click the Reset Caption Styles button to reset the display. For example, if we add new words to the lines, we click the Reset button and we can see the result is changing as we change the style level. We can always click the Reset button to reset the caption text and make sure the styles are applied correctly whenever there are changes made to the font or other style settings. For this caption style, I personally prefer the font Montserrat with the black style. You can search it online and download it to your system. There is another font called the bold font, which is also a popular option for these captions. This font always capitalizes the letters regardless of the input text, which could be useful. For each text style setting, we can change the color. Size, position, and angle. To change the caption as a whole, we can use the parameters at the top, such as position, text size, angle, and tracking, etc. Next, we will use the active caption template to create some active captions like the ones showing here.
How to be successful on YouTube. First, find your niche. Focus on a specific topic or audience and create content that speaks to them. Second, be consistent. Upload videos on a regular schedule and stick to it. Third, engage with your audience. Fourth, be patient. Success on YouTube takes time and effort. Before adding the caption template to the timeline, make sure you have the captions ready. For the demo, I have prepared the caption text in a text clip on the timeline. The first step is to add them to essential active captions and sync to the audio. Select all text and make a copy. Add an active caption clip to the timeline. Extend the caption clip to match the video length. Paste the caption text to the input field. Set the style level to line and press Reset Caption Styles button to reset the display. Now we can see the captions in the viewer. If you have a long video with a lot of captions, you may want to copy only part of your captions and complete this step with multiple caption clips. Change the font to Montserrat Black Split the caption clip at the end of each sentence. Select the first caption clip, keep only the caption text for the current sentence, and delete all the rest. Press reset button. Repeat the steps on all the caption clips, so that each clip matches with the audio. How to be successful on YouTube. First, find your niche. Focus on a specific topic or audience and create okay, content that's Okay, we now have to them. all the captions synced with the Second, audio. Be consistent. The Alex Hormoza style captions on usually display only a few words at a Third, time. Engage with your audience. Our next step is to break the captions Fourth, further, patient. so that each clip has Success only three on or four words in effort. it. For example, in the first sentence, we will split after the word successful. In the text input field, delete the on YouTube from the first clip. In the second one, delete the how to be successful. Go through all these clips, separate them as needed. Once it's done, all caption clips have only a few words in them. Next we will start working on the styles. For the first caption, we can put the word successful in the second line. And reset style. I am good with the default green color on the word successful. We can also make the word bigger or rotate the word. For the second one, there are only two words. We will change the style level to word. And reset. Center the caption. Change color to red for the word YouTube. Change the size and reposition the word. Continue work on the rest of the clips. For simplification, I use the line style for most of them. OK, now we have done the captions with basic styles, which is using different colors on words or lines. Success on YouTube takes time and effort. There are a couple of ways to add more dynamics to a caption, like we saw in the example earlier. How to be successful on YouTube. First, find your niche. Focus on a specific topic or audience and create content that speaks to them. One thing we can do is use the write on delay parameter to enable the write on animation. For example, the last caption. Set the write on delay to a value greater than zero. 8 is good. The second line is now delayed by the number YouTube of frames time. entered YouTube in the delay parameter. When the style is set to word mode, the delay will work on words. Takes time and effort.
takes time and effort. Takes time and effort. Another way is splitting the caption clip and changing the styles. First, find your Take niche. this caption clip for instance, change the style to word level. Reset the style. Center the caption. Change the first word to yellow and others to white. Split the clip after each word. For each caption split, change the first word back to white. Change the current word to yellow. Now we have an effect like karaoke first, lyrics. Find your niche. F first, find your niche. If we feel the timing is not in sync, we can easily drag the edit to find adjust the time. Your niche, your niche. The first word is highlighted first, too soon. We first, can simply shift the clip starting position. First, First, find your niche. First, find your niche. The third option is using the essential animator. Apply the animator to the caption. Go to the inspector and enable the pulse loop animation. Specific topic the caption or audience. is now Specific animated. Topic or audience. We can lower the pulse strength if we feel it changes too much. Specific topic or audience. Specific topic or audience. We can also enable the pulse on the angle parameter. Specific topic I think or this audience is good. And create a specific topic or audience. All right, and that's, that's all for today. Specific topic. Thanks for How watching to and see YouTube. you next time. First, find your niche. Focus on a specific topic or audience and create content that speaks to them. Second, be consistent. Upload videos on a regular schedule and stick to it. Third, engage with your audience. Fourth, be patient. Success on YouTube takes time and effort.